John, thanks very much for joining us uh, today. I, I know just how frantic life is for you at the moment, so I, I, I'm extremely grateful to you. We're launching this uh, 100,000 conversations around heart valve disease because, you know, this is a thing that uh, affects lots of people in this country and uh, obviously people over 65, it's much more prevalent. I just wondered from your own perspective with all the things you have to juggle as the Shadow Health Secretary, what was your own view about heart valve disease and how we should proceed? Well, thanks, Steve, for, uh, for all the work that you do on this. And you're right to raise this because the big worry at the moment with the understandable and obvious pressures on the NHS responding to the pandemic is that many people are missing out on their checkups, uh, missing out on going to the GP, are uh, putting it off perhaps, and that many who need a heart valve operation that, uh, uh, or a procedure that they've either missed the checkup or the procedures are being delayed because of, because of the pressures on the NHS. And sometimes heart valve procedures can fall down uh, the lists are being considered not as urgent as they should be. But of course, if you're the person waiting for that uh, uh, procedure, then it's incredibly urgent for you as an individual, it has a huge impact on your quality of life and runs the risk of something happening which could be very serious for you. So uh, I think it's really important in this year of all years that we're uh, reminding people of the importance of dealing with heart valve disease, encouraging people to get the checkups at their uh, GPs and that those politicians are calling for the resources in the NHS so you can deal with both the COVID pandemic and deal with these other these other health issues as well which are not getting priority at the moment as they should. Absolutely uh, and John I mean as you know um, you know lots of people uh, can recover. I myself had a open heart surgery about eight or nine years ago to repair my mitral valve and you know, lots of people can have treatment and then go on to lead a full and active life. But of course, one of the issues these days is how much emphasis we put on transcatheter procedures because it's, you know, it's a lot less invasive. Uh, I think I uh, might have told you the story before about a, a gentleman in his 80s I saw have a, a, a transcatheter procedure at St Thomas's and he's back on his allotment in three weeks' time. So I just wonder where in the, all the choices we have to make about health spending, where would you put the emphasis on transcatheter procedures at the moment? I think this is a really important question because we know heart disease generally is one of the big killers. But what, as you, what we're also seeing, though, is great innovations in this field of medicine. Uh, uh, great reforms like the transcatheter procedures which are now uh, coming on uh, stream and should be rolled out more widely so I think this should be uh, this should be a priority uh, for health spending because we've known for years that heart disease uh, takes too many too early in life so you're right to raise it I've seen some great uh, uh, innovations on this one at, at Leicester uh, Leicester hospitals where I'm an MP as well so I know there's tremendous work going on and I think it's important that politicians are, are shouting about it and pushing this up the agenda just like you're doing, Steve. Thanks. So, I mean, I, I guess the message for today is let's support the 100,000 conversations. Uh, and I think uh, I'm hearing you saying clearly to people, particularly once the pandemic uh, uh, is over or recedes, go and get that annual checkup. Uh, and I think I'm hearing you saying you'll do what you can to promote... Uh, treatment for people and to make sure we get back on track with the, the backlog. Is that a, a fair summary? That's absolutely right. Uh, heart disease has to be a national priority. Heart valve disease within that has to be a national priority. We need to ensure the investment is there, but we also need to ensure that people get that checkup. Don't delay. Uh, go and see your doctor because this is about saving lives for the future. John, I know how busy you are. You'll be, someone will be banging on your door for the next part of your schedule any second. So can I just say, thanks very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you.